Okay, guys, this is the overview. I tried to break everything up in sections just to make it a little bit easier for me. So we're going to start off over here in the breads. So the first thing I got was some tortillas. I got these because I want to make some um, wraps, whether it's breakfast wraps or I wanted to make some crispy chicken wraps. And then I grabbed these sweet Hawaiian sandwich buns. If you've watched one of my other grocery hauls, I said how much we love these. We like to do these for any type of burgers, whether it's Sloppy Joe's or if we ever grill out. So I grabbed these because I do plan to cook on the grill this weekend. And then I just got a loaf of this honey wheat bread. I don't know what happens here with these craziness of the car. I must have been like cutting corners really fast. <laughs> but I grabbed uh, some of this multi-green English muffins. These are some of my favorites and they're only 100 calories. And then I grabbed this French bread. It has the garlic and herb seasoning. I got this whether we might do it for one dinner. I'm planning on making some stuffed shells and some fish most likely. So this will be a good side and usually I'll just uh, pop it in the oven and I'll make like my own garlic butter, garlic butter spread and then pop it in the oven with some cheese on top. And then I got these bag of chips since it's right here. I like to get these for the kids. It's easier for them to just grab and I don't have to worry about opening the bag and them fighting over it. So these are perfect size for the kiddos. And then I grabbed these chocolate chunk cookies. I already have some chocolate chip cookies in the pantry, but I grabbed these just kind of like an extra treat for the kids. And then next I grabbed some of the cinnamon mini donuts. Usually I buy the donuts in the bags but i decided just to do it this way it seems like it'll keep it fresher because the bags normally if my two-year-old grabs it he ends up ripping the bag and then i have to end up storing the donuts somewhere else so i thought this would just be a better alternative some of these bacon pieces i grabbed this for salads and then i also plan on making some potatoes and green beans so usually i just like to add this bacon in instead of cooking bacon and chopping it in this is a little quicker and then this was the first time I tried these for the kids. I just grabbed a couple of the Walmart brand, their version of the Lunchables. I grabbed two of the ham and cheese, two of the turkey and cheese, and then two of the cheese pizzas. They love these for just like whether it's a quick lunch, if we're in a hurry and don't have time, they love to eat these. So I thought I'd give these a try. I'll have all the prices linked for everything for you guys as well. I grabbed two cans of Manwich for good old Sloppy Joes, <laughs> and then two cans of Crescent Rolls. Two bags of the baby reds if I don't ever make fresh potatoes these are literally my favorites we love these any other instant I don't like them they taste nasty but these have always been a favorite a jar of pickles I grabbed some more of my caramel syrup you guys know I mentioned in my other grocery haul that I make my own iced coffee if I ever i'm trying to cut back on spending money and buying unnecessary iced coffees i like to make them at home myself and then of course my creamer and then i grabbed some stuffed shells that's going to be a dinner for the week some soy sauce i use this for my beef and broccoli if you guys stay tuned i will be doing a cook and clean with me and i'm actually well, going to share that recipe with you guys and then i grabbed some of these petite diced tomatoes a can of the chunky tomato and garlic onion sauce. I grab these for when we cook out. I like to usually add in ground beef. This is our favorite barbecue sauce. I grew up with my dad making homemade barbecue sauce, so I literally did not have it in a jar or store bar store ball until after my dad passed away. And this has been the only one that I've seemed to really enjoy. I miss my dad's good old barbecue sauce. It's not the same. Then I grabbed some of this vegetable oil. And then moving down here, I grabbed two of these calzones. My boyfriend likes these for his lunches. They also do have um, a meatball style, I believe, and um, I want to say Philly cheesesteak. Then I grabbed some of this Italian cheese. And then I grabbed some of these frosted Pop-Tarts. I cannot talk. Pop-Tarts. Lakin loves these for his breakfasts on his way to school. Yogurts for the kiddos. First thing I bought, normally I buy these just in the individual bag, but I decided to just do it this way. That way they could each have their own and I don't have to put them in baggies and bowls and all of that. Easier is the best. Sometimes it's better to do things and make things easier on us, right? Two of these chocolate chip muffins for the kids. The only thing I don't like about these is how they only comes in 
they only come in pack of four. And I don't live near Sam Club, Sam's Club, you guys. So Walmart and like a couple other grocery stores are only are the only alternative. So a lot of these things I know I can buy them in bulk, but we don't have a Costco or a Sam's Club nearby. And then I grabbed some of these apple cinnamon. Normally I just get the Walmart brand, but when I say it was literally wiped out, there was nothing, you guys. It's as if everybody all of a sudden had an urge and wanted to buy all of the Walmart brands. This was literally the only one that they had left. So I normally buy the Walmart brand just to save a little money. So I just grabbed this one. And then some of these chocolate chunk granola bars. These are our favorite. Fruits, snacks for the kids honey buns and then I love these if you guys have not tried these these are amazing me and the kids like to just snack on these whether we eat them for soups by itself or with cheese we love these and then two boxes of macaroni and cheese first thing I grabbed was some of this frozen asparagus I just did this the last time I went grocery shopping normally sometimes I would buy it fresh but this just this is so much easier you guys so much easier and it's really not a bad price i think it's almost as much as buying it fresh so i've been converting a lot to frozen options for a lot of things and then i grabbed some berry medley and mixed fruit these are going to be for my smoothies two things of a bro frozen broccoli florets now one will be for my beef and broccoli recipe and then another will be for another dinner and then i've mentioned before i love buying my peppers and onion mix like this now so versus buying them fresh because I noticed I was wasting it and things were going bad. This is a better option and it's really cheap and affordable. Then I grabbed some of these chicken strips. I'm going to use these for some of the barbecue chicken wraps I plan on making for a meal this week. Two pizzas. Lakin asked me before he went to school to grab him some pizza. We love these bacon cheeseburger ones. If we don't buy these, we normally get the meat lovers by Home Run In, but I decided just to grab two of these because he asked for those. And then I grabbed some shrimp. That'll be a meal. Chicken wing sections we plan to cook out. So the part of this bag will be used for when we cook on the grill. That'll be one meal. And then another meal, I'm going to make some barbecue chicken wings. And then some Eggos. Samir and Tink love these. I love making these for their breakfast. It's quick and easy. And then some fish sticks for the kids. They love those too. I haven't got those for a while. So I decided to pick some of those up. First thing I grabbed was some of this turkey sausage links. We love this brand. And if you guys are looking for low carb, low carb, let me show you guys. Zero carbs. They have the patties and the links. These are so good. And you can put them in the microwave or you can cook them on the skillet. This is another favorite. We love this turkey bacon as well. I don't think the carbs is too bad on this. One carb, you guys. So if you're looking for low carb, these are good al alternatives versus regular like sausage and bacon. Two things of ground beef. So, some brats to go on the grill. These are one of our favorites. And I got some steak. I use this for my beef and broccoli. I wanted to give these a try. Normally we buy them by the Johnsonville brand, I think I want to say. But I saw these. I wanted to give these a try. Some of the jalapeno and cheddar bratwurst patties. Thing I grabbed was some of the sweet cow salad. I love this. It's a salad kit. It is so good, you guys. I grabbed some red potatoes. This is going to be for my green beans and potatoes. A pineapple. I'm loving the fresh pineapple. For some reason, it just tastes so much better than buying it already chopped up at the store. And then I grabbed these huge oranges. These are for Khalif. He prefers them this way. He doesn't care for the little ones. And then I just get these little, what are they called? Clementines, I believe. Let's see this. Mandarins. <laughs> I grabbed these, the little ones for the kiddos. Some fresh green beans for my green beans and potatoes. Some bananas, apples, and some tomatoes. And lemons. Can't forget my lemons. It's sweet tea season, you guys. I'm going to start making my sweet tea. I love making sweet tea where it just sits out in the pitcher. It's so good. I just grabbed some of the Minute Maid apple juice boxes and then some of these high C fruit punches. Normally, I buy the apple juice in the bottle. It's a little bit better. But I just decided to grab these and this kind. And I usually get other types of juices. And I grabbed me some almond milk for my smoothies. My iced coffee. 
Then I just grabbed this tea because I'm lazy. I haven't made my sweet tea yet. <laughs> and some orange juice. Lakin asked for some orange juice. Two gallons of milk. Again, I will be buying more milk next week. This probably won't even get us through the week. And then last but not least, a huge case of water. So this was everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul and coming along and seeing what I buy for my family with my budget. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.